Hi, Dr. Kana here. Today we're going to play sock bocce. So we've made the polino or the jack ball that we aim at out of a little piece of um, rolled up paper. I have four different colors, two objects for each team. So I have two that are a darker color. Here I have two that are pink and white and I have some other colors back there. So you can have up to four teams play each round and each one would throw um, two of these balled up socks. Um, since I'm playing by myself, I'm just going to throw the different colors as if I'm the different team so that we can learn how to score in sock bocce. So, round one. So we'll start with the darker colored team. He's going to throw the Polino first. So, actually, you know what, I'm going to re-throw that so that you can see it. So I'll throw it a little closer just so that it's in the, in the frame. So there is the Polino. That's the one we're going to aim at. So we're all going to throw from the same place. And remember an underhand toss, facing the target, take a step with the opposite foot, swing your arm out towards the target, follow through, and release it. And you have to adjust the force so that you can get it close. So here we go. I'm trying to get close to that Polino. Then the person on the next team would throw. So they're going to throw one of theirs and try to get closer than the other person did. Then another player from another team. If you have that many teams, you can play with just two people. You can play by yourself as two teams. You can play by yourself as three or four teams. Or four different people could each play with two objects. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that. And so the last team now gets to throw in the first round. And now we have the second round. So all of the objects stay there. And you're tr always trying to get closer than the closest person. And so... Ooh, so that one got, got in there a little close. And you throw in the same order each time. And here we go. And the last one. And you also can try to aim at the other objects and try to knock them out of there. So I might try more of a bowling this time to try to knock, knock out another sock. So we go up and we check the score. So this one is the closest. So they scored one point for the round. If there had been two socks that were closer, so let's say they had gotten two of theirs in, then they could have scored two points for the round, but they scored one. So this team would get to throw the Polino again first. The score would be one to zero. All the other teams would have zero, and we'd go ahead and throw for the next round. In your house, you can make it fun by throwing in different directions. You can throw into different rooms if it's okay with your parents. If you have stairs, you can even take it up the stairs or take it down the stairs. Um, as long as you play safely and you make sure that you know you don't bump into things or knock things over. So always ask for permission before you throw things in the house. Thanks for joining us for Sock Bocce. Oh, and I've got to tell you, games go up to 12. So the first team that would get 12 points would win an official game of bocce, but you can set any number that you want.